All right, here he is, the number one lightweight contender making his way to the octagon and looking to leave as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. Lightweight fight. Both fighters are 31. Gaethje is two inches taller. The reach is identical. Now for the introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, two losses. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Justin, the highlight, Gaethje. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 28 wins, no losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Habib. for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves this moment. radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we get a kickboxing match or another one? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on. These guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. And they separate. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Nice stick with the right hand. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. That's a 
pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov, you see. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Khabib lands early, and he lands off. And everything's landing with so much power. Punches one. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping, he's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he has taken. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Justin Gage. by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Trying to establish that jab once again. Gaethje's shot there is blocked. A lot of different looks, he switches to southpaw now. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights, DC. A lot of leg kicks for good measure in that round. I mean, leg kicks are the key. You watch people win fights with just leg kicks, especially in this game. I mean, it is my striker choice. I love the animation when I've landed so many leg kicks that my opponent just kind of waves me off and the fight gets stopped. Just keep throwing them. If they're not going to check them, keep throwing the leg kick. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. He's timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Slips the punch. Oh, and there he goes, working off that jab again. How's your jab, DC? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch in the first one you learn is the jab. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Well, the stats producer's been busy tonight, DC. 49 total strikes now for Justin Gage. And connecting with about a 41% accuracy right here against Khabib Nurmagomedov. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the... Oh, he's hurt bad. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Nice punch land. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh, beautiful jab there from 
Gaethje, who just might be the most watchable fighter in the UFC. It's so fun to call a Justin Gaethje fighter. People think he's reckless. People think he's a wild man. But Trevor Whitman has him locked in. His technique is beautiful when he strikes. Under a minute to go. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the toughness that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. He blocks the punch. And that's the end of round number two. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, most fights. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. And there comes the separation now. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Nice punch here. The unofficial numbers thus far, 82 total strikes have landed for Justin Gage. And landing with 42% accuracy thus far. Oh. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. And they separate. That was a jab! Try to establish that jab. Separate. Look at him chop of the wood. Chop the wood with his leg kick. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. All right, so he connects with another punch there. Kind of targeting that cut. Kind of I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's pouring blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits it a little bit more Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. Nice. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Another shot lands upstairs. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Mago Medov gets caught with that punch. Big leg kick land. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Mago Medov. Yeah, Habib Nurmagomedov is not only a wrestler, he's a full-on mixed martial artist now and it showed in that exchange. Gaethje gets hit with that stiff jab there. Thirty seconds now to go. Oh, big punch man. Three rounds in the books, we are headed to the championship round. All right, well, good news, bad news here. Good news, round is over. Bad news, the cut on his lip, as nasty as we've ever seen in the UFC. Really, really bad. And you got to think at some point the doctor's going to get called in. If it's any worse than it is now, this fight is going to be stopped. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, 
landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. All right, here we go. Fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart. We'll see who has the other. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the eye. Oh, blocks the shot. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. with the jet. There's no give on that leg kick. Good punch. And potentially a critical takedown here. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Gaethje's lower jaw now is starting to show some signs of swelling. Well, now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on it. up again here, but hurting. Nice leg kick. Unbelievable. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! Oh, single collar tie here. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to pounce after the block the shot. 45 seconds remain in the round. Oh, nice. Single collar tie now. Straight punch land. Oh, nice check on the leg kick off right there. And it closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. All right, so he gets knocked down, but not out. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. A huge round on the other side. He had him hurt very bad. He found the shot. He got exactly what he wanted. When he saw the opening, he jumped on it and he hurt his opponent very bad. If he can get back to that one more time, he may end the night. gets blocked. Punch over the top. Gaethje gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Magomedov gets caught by that straight hand. He missed 
with that jab attempt. There. Look at that switch knee. Beautiful switch knee. Under three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Keach. It's a nice punch lands over the top. That was a gutty leg kick. Nice job by Gaethje to land and then roll with the punches. We talk a lot about his legendary chin, but maybe he doesn't get enough credit for the striking defense and his ability to move that head off the center line. Straight right hand now just misses. Oh, beautiful one-two punch. Magomedov gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Right on the button. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. And he's looking for that left hand. Just missed. Right under the elbow. Body can land. Nice punch by Gaethje. Back and forth we go here. Is this the one that's gonna break him? Oh, nice! So the title fight goes the distance. I don't want to steal Bruce Buffer's thunder because he doesn't like that, but and new UFC champion of the world you're looking at. Yeah, he's the new champ. No matter how you want to look at it, he did enough to take the belt off the champion. He used his striking, his footwork, his beautiful movement in order to confuse the champion over the course of five rounds. He did enough. It's time to strap the belt around his waist. decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 49-46. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and new UFC lightweight champion of the world, Justin What a moment there it is for the new UFC lightweight champion. I'm not crying. That, you're crying. You're crying? I mean, almost. A, it's hard not to feel emotional when you watch someone accomplish something that they set out to do so long ago. Congratulations to the champ. He did a great job in winning this belt.